Hey guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com and we're looking at the previous version of the Google Plus app for Android. I think it looks pretty much the same on the Apple iPhone. This one got released uh, by, at the end of May. But just uh, during Google I.O., they've been announcing a new version. Let's um, use the one over here on my Galaxy Note. And as you can see, it completely changed in terms of the colors that they're using right now and how they arrange the plus ones and um, where you can see the amount of comments. Plus, you can't swipe anymore from the left to the right, from what's hot to all circles and to the nearby ones, which is kind of annoying in my opinion. Um, the previous version also had a landscape mode already. It, looked, it looks a little bit different on this one right now. So you can already tell that this is just a first outlook to how the, uh, the tablet version will look like. Let's just click into one of these articles and see what else is going on here. Okay, maybe not one uh, with a video in there. How about this one? Okay, that's quite interesting. So, um, the article itself was kind of floating over the picture. Okay, here we go. So that's not really different from the former version of the Google Plus app. But what I would love to show you, of course, it's also running here on the Samsung Galaxy S3 without any problems. Um, if you want to change to a different circle, right now you need to click on this little drop down menu over here and then you can head over to the popular circles and all of this stuff. I think this is a little bit annoying compared to the previous version. It was way easier to swipe from the left to the right. But what I would love to show you is how it looks like on a tablet. So this is the uh, Transformer Pad Prime from Asus. And here we have the tablet version of Google Plus. And this looks absolutely gorgeous. So um, Google, you did a really good job. I've been writing a little rant about uh, a missing Google Plus app for tablets uh, back in January. And finally, you guys delivered. This is a an amazing stream of information in a magazine style. And uh, let me just click somewhere here, just to see how that looks like. Here we go. I don't know if this is very beta, or <laughs> if it has to be like this. I don't know, but anyways, um, you can definitely tell that they changed the idea of how the Google Plus app should look like a lot. This is more a kind of Google Currents look and feel. It's available right now in the Google Play Store. Uh, that's the Google app or Google Plus app for tablets. Here's the version for the phone. Not much different from the tablet one. Of course, kind of different resolutions. Uh, I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.